In May 2019, U.S. 6th Fleet and Naval Striking and Support Forces NATO executed Formidable Shield 19. The purpose of Formidable Shield is to conduct sea-based defensive exercises against simultaneous anti-ship and ballistic missile threats using NATO command and control reporting structures. Twelve nations participated or observed the Live Fire Integrated Air and Missile Defense IAMD, scenarios, defending against ballistic missile targets, as well as anti-ship cruise missiles. Thirteen ships, more than ten aircraft, and approximately 3,300 personnel from Belgium, Canada, Denmark, France, Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Spain, the United Kingdom, and the United States participated in FS-19 on the UK Ministry of Defence's Hebrides Range, located on the Western Isles of Scotland. NATO's airborne early warning aircraft supported all live firing events and were integral to both the interoperability architecture and range clearance. U.S. Air Force's Europe F-16 aircraft and 40 Flight Test Squadron test pilots safely delivered the three supersonic targets during Formidable Shield. Pilots from the U.S. Air Force's Europe 480 Flight Squadron also joined Royal Air Force Typhoons to present challenging air defense scenarios to the Maritime Force. U.S. Naval Force's Europe P-8 Poseidon aircraft supported several training exercises in range clearance. Formidable Shield featured scenarios characterized by an increased level of complexity and integrated participating allied units to increase interoperability and continue to develop integrated air and missile defense tactics, techniques, and procedures. Formidable Shield 2019 and the Formidable Shield series in general offers nations an opportunity to work together in an integrated environment where we must data link, communicate, and navigate together. For Formidable Shield 2019, Denmark has provided a, com a float command and control platform for the international staff that leads uh, the exercise. And that plan for platform is HDMS Epsilon. Formidable Shield 2019 gives Den the Danish defense an opportunity to gain experience within the field of area defense. Uh, Formidable Shield 19 is, is unique because uh, it is ga gathering a great lot of warships uh, that will intend to conduct live firing, uh, firings, uh, very complex live firings, and we, Fr France is really glad to participate in, in this kind of exercise. The RCN is committed to working with our NATO partners in countering any threat that may uh, confront the Alliance. And HMCS St. John's and her entire crew are very excited to be here in Europe participating in this exercise. It's important to build our confidence and also to uh, evolve uh, as a Navy. And in particular, uh, in a, a multinational setting, uh, it's really important to get through all of the communications issues and the, uh, the coordination issues because, I mean, this is, like, this is rocket science that we're talking about here. This is not easy stuff. Uh, so the more that we can practice it and do it uh, for real with ships at sea as opposed to doing it in a synthetic training environment, it's, uh, it's just so important. We've been practicing for a number of years. We've been, we've been rehearsing for a number of years trying to get the command and control uh, systems in place so that, so, so that we can test them properly. And this exercise fully tests them, allows us to see how we would operate those, those systems, how the command and control would work uh, from the, the, the ships themselves up through the, the CTG uh, to ensure that, that NATO can defend itself against a ballistic missile attack. Formidable Shield 19 included a number of national firsts. The exercise included the first engagement of a supersonic target by an Aster 15 missile fired from the French frigate Britannia, which was also a first for this newly commissioned ship. The Royal Canadian Navy tracked and negated a supersonic target for the first time with an evolved Sea Sparrow missile. We also recorded the first launch of a guided space object from the United Kingdom in the form of an Aegis Readiness Assessment Vehicle B, ARAV-B which is used as a test target for ballistic missile defense. The Royal Navy tracked a supersonic target with a Type 23 frigate. Formidable Shield 2019 was an international exercise that tested several things. One of the most important aspects of this exercise is the continued allied interoperability for integrated air and missile defense, or IEMD, using NATO tactics, techniques, and procedures. 
It is incredibly important for the experience and expertise of so many international allies to come together to create such a complex and multifaceted live fire exercise. We began planning Formidable Shield 2019 more than 24 months ago, even while we were executing Formidable Shield 2017. To provide an integrated air and missile defense force requires a significant investment of personnel, time, and resources from every nation that wishes to contribute. Uh, the nations in FS19 uh, contributed significantly to that, and I expect that as we bring in an additional mix of both ground-based and afloat assets for 2021, that there will be an even greater investment by these partner nations. It is a significant commitment to ask, but I believe the rewards are, are worth it. The United Kingdom's Ministry of Defense Hebrides Range continues to offer the best European location, the right instrumentation package, and the ability to simultaneously launch and control air breathing and ballistic targets necessary to conduct an exercise of this magnitude. We utilize US P-8 Poseidon and NATO E-3 AWACS aircraft based in Europe to provide range clearance of surface ships, small boats, fishermen and fishing fleets, as well as clearance of the airspace over the range. We made sure, before and after we launched any targets or conducted any intercepts, that all non-participants were well clear of the hazard areas, as we did for 2015 and 2017, we took flight and ground safety very seriously. 19 TAC-1 included two supersonic engagements by France in 19 TAC-1 Alpha and Canada in 19 TAC-1 Bravo of AQM 37D targets, both of which were successful. The data analysis team confirmed that each AQM was destroyed by France and Canada. The events following the AQMs in TAC-1 saw an Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Destroyer, the USS Roosevelt, launch two SM-3s. In TAC-1 Delta, the USS Roosevelt launched two SM-2s and one SM-3 simultaneously at air-breathing and simulated ballistic targets, respectively, in a true IAMD scenario. In TAC-1 Foxtrot, she launched an aging SM-3 to collect data on rounds nearing their service life. Both SM-3 firings will provide critical data to the acquisition community and give the warfighter confidence in the rounds they would use during a real-world event. 19 TAC-2 included multiple air-breathing target presentations, two of which were successfully negated by Canada in 19 TAC-2 Alpha and the Netherlands in 19 TAC-2 Charlie. 19 TAC-2 Bravo saw air-breathing targets with electronic attack pods emulating an enemy aircraft disrupting operations or trying to mask an aircraft raid. The task force was instructed to operate through the jamming and conduct simulated engagements, which they successfully accomplished. Also in 19 TAC-2 Charlie, we launched the first guided Aegis Readiness Assessment Vehicle Bravo, the first guided ballistic target flown on UK soil. Two Aegis BMD ships tracked the guided ballistic target and sent their data to an Aegis Ashore unit that had been geographically repositioned to replicate the site in Europe. The Aegis Ashore unit successfully engaged on the remote data and simulated the launch of SM-3 Block II Alphas to negate the threat. 19 TAC-3 included multiple air-breathing target presentations, which the task force used to simulate engagements. Also, in 19 TAC-3 Alpha, we launched the first Single Stage Orion, or SSO, a developmental ballistic target flight for a new guided short-range anti-ship threat target. An Aegis Baseline 9 ship tracked and successfully negated the threat with a simulated SM-6 Block 1 guided missile. In 19 TAC-3 Bravo, the HMS Defender negated an air-breathing threat with an Aster 30 guided missile, yet another first. 19 TAC-4 included a combination of air-breathing, ballistic, and electronic attack scenarios. In 19 TAC-4 Alpha, Norway and Spain negated low-level air-breathing threats with ESSM guided missiles. In 19 TAC-4 Charlie, the Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer USS Kearney successfully detected, tracked, and intercepted two air-breathing targets while tracking and queuing another Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer, the USS Roosevelt, who conducted a queued, simulated engagement using an SM-3 Block 1 Bravo threat upgrade. 
These two Aegis BMD ships once again tracked and sent their data to an Aegis Ashore unit that had been geographically repositioned to replicate a site in Europe. The Aegis Ashore unit successfully engaged on the remote data and launched SM3 Block 2 Alphas to negate the threat. We get a lot more out of the exercise than just testing. Uh, and we, we get the enhanced knowledge about the other's capabilities uh, and how we can, um, how we can make some, some lessons identified that we can hopefully develop into lessons learned uh, afterwards. Our common aim will be to make important steps in interoperability in the field of air and missile defense. For the Nudge Navy, in the recent past, this exercise has been of great importance, so we're very keen to make it a success this time as well. The, the Roosevelt has been uh, working um, a long time in preparations for this exercise. Um, I think that um, it's going to give us a, uh, an opportunity to showcase um, you know, all the training we've done up to this point and, um, and share that with our, our partners and our allies. We'll, we'll use this exercise to springboard into Formidable Shield 21. Uh, we'll, we'll bring it all together in, a, in, a, in another major exercise. Now that Formidable Shield 2019 is complete, we need to maintain this momentum forward, continue to work together toward collective self-defense, continue to strengthen partnerships in the maritime environment, and continue to capitalize on the interest in ballistic missile defense in this theater as we look to Formidable Shield 2021.